Um, when you were when you were a cheerleader for Miami Dolphins, what was mm-hmm. that like? Wow, that was crazy. Because if you ever watch Making the Squad, the mm-hmm. Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders take that and put it in Miami. Yeah. It was the exact like everything that they did. We had to go through like everything. What? So basically the epitome of an NFL cheerleader mm-hmm. was my coach. She came from Dallas mm-hmm. and like, it, she was like the poster child of cheerleaders. She came from Dallas and she was like, you've got to weigh this amount. Mm-hmm. You've got to look like this. Your hair has got to be like that. Um, so when I tried out, I was, 19 or 20 and I was weighing in at like I'm 5'3 so I'm I am shorter I was like 125 okay and by the time training camp was over I was 115 pounds Mm -hmm. so I was so tiny so small and I made the squad and then they were like um okay you made the squad and you've gained your weight back you're Mm -hmm. back to 125 we need you back to 115 and I was like I can't like I I literally was almost starving myself and so was that intentional when you went from 125 to 115 it wasn't it was because I I didn't work out I Mm -hmm. never like really worked out Uh I and now I was three times a week, Mm -hmm. three hour dancing, like straight through in the Miami heat. You're just going to lose the weight. And it was just so intense. And they'd say, oh, when you go home, eat an apple. Don't eat dinner. Eat an apple. When you go home, eat eat some tuna. And so I was eating an apple because I'm like, okay, they said not to. And sometimes you were just so exhausted. You weren't even hungry. Uh Um, But I don't consider myself like having an eating disorder or anything like that. It was just like, you were stressed, you were tired, you were just let me go home and go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Um, But I was so tiny. And it was so heartbreaking because they weighed you in before the game. Mm -hmm. And the very first game, they said I had to sit out at like the I think it was like the pregame performance or something like Mm -hmm. that. And I had to sit out because they were like, oh, well, you gained weight. You're on probation. But after that, like they never really bothered me again about my weight because I'm like, look, you're going to kick me off the the squad for 10 pounds because it's not coming back. And they were like, you're a butt. And I'm like, I'm black. I'm sorry. (laughs) Like I have a butt. Oh, they were saying it's too much ass? Yes. And it's crazy because they will like look you up and down. Uh Then on top of that, my hair is naturally curly. Uh-huh. So I had it blown out and mm-hmm. they were like, sorry, we already have a curly haired girl. You have to wear your hair blown out. And I'm like, I don't have a perm. If I dance, my hair is going to fluff up, curl up yeah. edges, whatever. And we didn't have like flat irons that were like really good like they are now. Mm-hmm. Um, and I refuse to wear a wig. I refuse to wear a perm. I mean, can you imagine dancing and your wig fall off in front of all those mm, people? So, tough. yeah, no, it was just it was a lot. But everything you see for the Dallas Cowboys show mm-hmm is exactly what happens in real life. So like uh, like the the requirements, I should say, the physical mm-hmm. requirements mm-hmm. for the women that were cheerleading, like, was it worth it, I should ask? Because that sounds like very, like, you know, like... Was it worth it? That's a great question because I think the experience was amazing because mm-hmm. here it is, what, tw- is it 20, 20 years later? I'm mm-hmm. 40 years old. Mm-hmm. 20 years later, I'm talking about something. 40. I'm 40. You look yeah. for 40. Thank wow. you. Yeah. yeah. Um, 20 years later, I'm mm-hmm. talking about it and it's like still relevant to this day. Yeah. The amount of money we were paid, and I, I, I can talk about that all day. I don't care. $25 a game. That no. is it. 25. Yeah. Because sometimes people are like, they didn't get paid much. Yeah, nothing. $25. And you can't say, oh, well, that was back in 2002 it like two, it or could, it four or five. 90s. It doesn't matter. Nah. $25. And you know how long a football game is, right? Yeah. We would get there like two hours before the game. That, so that's like five hours. It was so so ridiculous. Five dollars an hour. Twenty five dollars. Wait, so not I don't even know. A, not even an hour. Like no, a no, game. No, twenty five dollars a game. Wow. So cheerleaders aren't full time. 
So they wanted you to have an occupation or be in school. Like you had mm. to have an occupation. Okay. Um, it, like that was a requirement. Yeah. You couldn't just be, I just want to be a cheerleader. I'm a stay at home mom. It's like you had to have yeah. something else. Um, they wanted well-rounded women. They wanted, I mean, 400 girls tried out and only 40 made it. Damn. So uh, yeah. It, it Shout was, out to you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. And I had dance experience, but mm -hmm. I didn't have like the experience, like some of the girls, um, you know, that were like trained all the way through, mm. you know, high school and um, college. I kind of just was like, well, I danced in high school mm -hmm. and, you know, let's see what happens. Yeah. But um, a story that I do have on my Instagram that I feel like is really inspirational to anybody that's like trying to do something mm -hmm. and failed was when I went to University of Miami, I tried out for the Sensations. That's their dance team. Okay. It's similar to, to NFL cheerleading, their mm -hmm. dance style. And I didn't make it. And I think it was like maybe 10 girls or something. It was very small amount of girls. And I feel like I didn't make it because they met their quota of black girls already. Mm. And one, a couple of the girls were like captains. So it's like, well, we don't really need any more black girls. Mm. You know, sorry to make it. Yeah. Um, and it could have been just that I wasn't good enough. I don't know. But in the breezeway, maybe like a week or two later, the Dolphins were there recruiting, saying like, we're looking for cheerleaders. Would you be interested? And I was like, well, I didn't make this squad. And, you know, I'm not going to make an NFL squad. This yeah. is not going to happen. And I said, well, let me try out and see. And then found out um, a girl that I was going to school with was trying out too. Mm. And so we tried out together. We both made it. But I, I always tell people like, you know, you never know what they're looking for. You never know if you don't try. Mm -hmm. And I tried and I made it. And I would be in campus like, yeah, I'm an NFL cheerleader right, right. to the girls that like on didn't the other, pick me. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm going to go shoot this calendar uh -huh. this week, you know. Yeah. But back to pay, mm -hmm. they would pay us way more for like for events. So like if we had a signing at like a boat show, yeah. it'd be like $125 or okay. something like that. So they would pay f for bigger events and they flew the entire squad to Hong Kong for like to cheer in the parade, the um, New Year's parade. The Chinese so New Year's The Chinese parade? New Year parade. Wow. Yeah, so that was huge. Yeah. I mean, when you want to break down certain things, I'm mm -hmm. like, well, they did fly us to Hong Kong. Yeah. So there was some great things that came out of it. It was a growing experience, but would I do it again? Back then, I when I came here, mm -hmm. my dad was like, you've already been a Dolphin cheerleader. You don't need to be a Panther cheerleader because mm -hmm. I was considering it. Yeah. He was like, you've already been on one of the top squads. Yeah. You don't need to. Miami. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. I say we were top three for sure. Top three. I don't, maybe Raiderettes and then us well pats nope. pats in new england new england really? yeah i'd say and what them. we all call miami what uh just miami dolphin cheerleaders okay. yeah we didn't have like a cute little name well, or anything mm -mm. all right cool cool 